My name's David Smith and I'm one of the project managers of the Old School Project. How did Old School Thornhill come about? The number of us, people that had moved here to bring up families, people that have moved back here that went to school here. Around 2016, we used to drive past this building when it was empty and it was derelict. We'd all lived in cities and seen co-working spaces and we kind of thought this would be an amazing building to bring together people that work for themselves, creatives, the small businesses in Thornhill. And at the same time, Thornhill was doing a community action plan. And one of the most important things that the people in the community wanted was that all buildings that meant something to them brought back to life. We set up a collective who kind of moved the project forward. We negotiated with the clue to buy the building. We went through this process of talking to the Scottish Land Fund about finding the money to buy it. And we did all of the consultations with the architect and the business plan. Fast forward to 2019, we established a charity. We worked with the Hollywood Trust, we worked with SOCI, and then we got a big grant from the government via the council and it kind of all just came together. People think it took a long time, but in a way it wasn't very long. We were able to commence redeveloping the building in 2020. 23. How does Old School Thornhill benefit the local community? We had to work out the best use of the space. We didn't want to displace other businesses in Thornhill. Thornhill has a community centre, but it doesn't have a village hall. We thought we would be able to provide another facility for the community here that could really enrich everyone's lives. What's amazing about the Old School Thornhill is it's got this amazing drill hall in the middle, and then it's got five classrooms. Two of the classrooms we made into studios and offices. We've got a community room, a cinema, and a theatre, and we've got a community kitchen and a community garden. The spaces can be used in lots of different ways. I think it's the balance between prescribing what could happen in those spaces and then thinking about the flexibility of what would evolve when we work with the community. Hi, I'm Mia Osborne. I'm the Youth Engagement Coordinator for Old School Thornhill. My job is I work with young people at Walls Hall and other young people in the village to establish a programme of workshops, events and different activities. How do community spaces help keep people in or bring people to the region? I think community spaces really encourage people to interact within that community. A lot of places in Dumfries and Galloway feel quite isolated because of travel or lack of opportunities. So having really rich community hubs lets people gather, makes people feel more enthusiastic about their area and also see the possibilities of not necessarily having to travel or work in a big city. And I also think interacting with different members of the community from all walks of life is a really, really great way of collecting stories and figuring out what path that I want to take in life because you see other people and what they're doing. Young people want to consider lots of different options for their career. And I think that Aust already showcases a number of businesses and a number of ways that you could live and you could be creative or you could work in your rural community. And you could have an impact. How can Youth Voice be platformed through multi-generational work? We have a youth committee which is made up of just under 30 young people which are all from DG3 and different age groups within the schools, so primary 3 to primary 7 and then first year to sixth year and these are young people that have a varying different interests, they're not just creative types, they're not just entrepreneurial types, there's a wide range of interests and I think a primary 5 might not feel as empowered to say their opinion or say oh I think we should do this but alongside the guidance of older peoples it helps build up enthusiasm and that ability to be able to speak about what you think and also be inspired by the people around you. We also have different professionals and people from Thornhill that come in to chat about what it is that they do and inspire young people and how to make a kind of viable career in a rural town or a rural village. What we want to do is make sure that the youth voice is heard and we want to give young people an opportunity to have autonomy. We found this project in the Highlands called Room 13 and we were inspired by that idea to create a space that could be managed by young people and that they could almost define. Finally, what are your hopes for the future? We have just set up the youth committee so my hopes for the future is that we start to get a real kind of programme of events going and I'd like to see events not just for the young people but events that are really intergenerational but are programmed by the young people. I'd also like to see more links between Old School Thornhill and the school and we're building those really, really strong connections at the moment. But it'd be great to do more work with the pupils and not just the committee pupils but pupils throughout Walls Hall.
I just want to see this space utilized in so many different ways. If we can create something that gives the community an opportunity to do new projects, to expand the range of things that are on offer in this village. And then we can also provide a base for different things to come to Thornhill so that actually they see what a great community is. It's just this really nice feedback loop where things are happening for the community, things are happening for young people, and we're just expanding the opportunities for things that happen here.